neno la Mungu ni watu wa kikoni na sana sana ningependa kuzungumzie kigeleko the saint word neno iliyotupa bwana asijue Mungu huwa anatumana amen ambie mwanzangu Mungu huwa anatumana Mungu huwa anatumana na huwa anatumana kupitia neno lake amen na hiyo ndio sababu siku moja Yesu akisema katika Mark 12:24 ya kwamba e, mnakosea kwa sababu hamjui maandiko Bwana asijue katika maombi yetu katika mambo yetu yale tunafanya let us enrich ourselves in the word of god amen kwa sababu ni mkesha sasa eh, kuzungumza mambo mengi Ninataka tu kuzungumzia the saint word of God Bwana asijue. Neno lililotumwa na Mungu kwa maisha yako na kwa maisha yangu Bwana asijue. Amen. Ah, uh, let us open our Bibles in the book of Psalms 147. Psalms 147. Psalms 147 Everybody kila mtu angalie Psalms 147 na tuanzie verse 16 Mwenye atafika wa kwanza kusoma anaweza kusomea verse 16 Psalms 147 and verse 16 Mungu anatangaza theluchi kama pamba na anatawanya umande kama majifu analeta mvua ya mawe kama kokoto na kuubaridi wake maji uganda hapo tu Bwana asifiwe na yanapoganda kuna kitu mtu Mungu huwa anafanya hapo chini anasema analituma neno amen he says his word amen and the word of god has the power to make ama kuelusha kile ambacho kimekusanyika praise be to the name of the lord amen kwa hiyo kama ni maandui wamekusanyika kinyume na kanisa kinyume na maisha yetu yatatawanyishwa Mungu anapoachilia neno lake kwa maisha yetu amen amen praise be to the name of the living god amen. na kwa uwezo ile theluji imeshikana kwa uwezo wa neno la Mungu bwana asifiwe theluji inayeyuka inakuwa maji na inaanza kutiririka amen. amen kama uko na shamba inaanza kunyenyuziwa maji Bwana asifiwe. Basi inasema God sends his commandments upon the earth. His word runs very quickly. Mungu huwa anaachilia neno lake kwa maisha ya mtu. Have you ever asked yourself, ushajiuliza, Mungu amenena nini kwa nyuso yetu? Wachana na story za watu ushai kujiuliza what could have seen about me. Ndio. Kwa sababu kila wakati Mungu ananena na mtu ni tofauti. Others are creeping on the ministry of others. Wengine wanashikilia huduma za wengine. Lakini Mungu kuna ile ministry anaweka ndani yake. Have you ever ask yourself what could Asi about you. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na anasema akilituma hiyo neno kwa maisha yako huwa anaiachilia kwa kasi inakimbia pia. Lakini Mungu akiwa ameiachilia kwa kasi hivyo unakuwa na upinzani. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. God is awaiting for our spiritual faith to open. Our spiritual faith, matter yet the mind, 
ifunguke haleluya bwana asifiwe anauliza jeremaya katika jeremaya chapter 1 verse 11 anauliza ni nini umeona kwa sababu kile jeremaya ameona ndio mungu akokomite kukufika bwana asifiwe anamwambia what are you see jeremaya anasema nimeona na Mungu anasema hayakomite to fulfill my word. Kile Mungu amesema kuhusu maisha yetu akokomi God is committed to fulfill. Bwana asifiwe. Amejitolea kujimiza kile amenena kuhusu nasi. Lakini ni mimi na wewe tufunguke macho ya imani yetu. Praise be to the name of the living God. Amen. Ili Mungu our committee to fulfill what he has said about ourselves ready to remember the big call bwana asifiwe kwa sababu god is ready when we are ready but god will never be ready until you be ready hallelujah therefore a time has come for us to stand the call hallelujah and silence every other noise that is preventing the voice of God upon our lives. Nasema wakati umefika wa kunyamazisha kila sauti zingine zinazoiona kinyume na sauti ya Bwana. Because God has spoken about you. Mungu amenena kuhusu wewe. Mungu amenena kuhusu familia yako kuhusu kanisa kuhusu nchi yetu. Hallelujah. What has he said? Amesema nini? Na anazidi kusindilia ya kwamba hayakomite to fulfill. God is ready to fulfill. He has promised to your help. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the living God. He has, he has provided his angels to guard you 24/7. God is committed He has given you life for free. There are people struggling for oxygen in hospital. There are people struggling in hospital for blood. They are seeking people to help them. But God has given us this chance to pray and worship Him. Amen. Praise be to the name of the living God. Amen. Nikisikia hivyo nasikia kuchangamka kabisa ni muindue Bwana na niwaambie ni asante kwa yale yametenda juu ya maisha yetu. Amen. Na neno la Bwana ni hakika. It is yes and amen. Praise be to the name of the living God. Isaiah 55. Verse 1. Biblia inasema, "Come. Ye who are thirsty, come and buy." God is calling us to his conversation come 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 ata kama umedhunumiwa huko nje huko kazini ata kama watu wamekusengenya wame come 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 even if you don't have money even if you don't have help come my word is with me if i speak to you i will establish you i will strengthen you i will empower you amen Praise be to the Lord Jesus. Ka 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 ka. It doesn't matter the situation that you are in when God speaks about to your life. He speaks and when he speaks no other speaker is allowed to speak for you. And that's why tonight we are silencing every other noise against the voice of God. Praise be to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 55 verse 1 Bila mwenye kiu aje kwenye maji Bila mwenye kiu aje kwenye maji Jioni hata msio na fedha nunueni ngano mkale Amen Nunueni ngibani na maziwa bila fedha bila gharama Mhm Amen Basi Louisa why are you why are you spending a lot of money to the things which are not bread and your labor for that which satisfy the Lord happen diligently unto me and they eat him that which is good and let your soul delight itself 
in fact. Praise be to the name of the living God. In the clan of here, and come unto me, here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure masses of death. Amen. Behold, I have given him for a witness of the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation. You, you shall call a nation. Where will take that taifa? Now my taifa has fight. Ya siyo julikana. Ya tataka kuitanisho na wewe. Kujishikanisha na wewe. Praise be to the name of the people. Na wataza kumuinua wana. Na kumuabudu. Kwa yale ya metenda. Julia mechenye. Praise be to the name of the people. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Behold, thou shalt call a nation. That thou knowest not. A nation that knew not thee. Shall run unto thee. Because the Lord thy God and for the only one of Israel, for he has glorified the day. Mungu ame kuinua. Verse 7 in the same, see ye the Lord, why he may be found. Kavutene wana, madam, apatika na pola. This is the time. Unde wakati wako mtafuta wana. Unde wakati wako shikana na wana. Undi wa wakati wa kuma ukamatana na roho takatifu wa Mungu. Wakati watu wamelala, undi wa wakati wako. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Verse 7 na sema let the wicked forsake his ways. Mwenye dhambi achane na njia zake za dhambi. And the unrighteous man is thoughts. Yule alikuwa ameokoka na amebaksia fikra zake azigeuse and then let us return unto our God let us return unto our God for he will abandon him pardon praise be to the Lord Amen verse 8 and verse 9 for my thoughts fikra zangu so kama za mungu anasema ni meitana kasuwa na meitana sasa ananza kuzugumza nasema mafikra sound so kama za binadama so kama za my strength is not like your strength my power is not like your power my mind is not like your mind I am mighty I am God Amen I am who I am for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Hallelujah. Chia za mwana ni chia zanja. Na hizo chia anatumia neno laki. Ananituma the same word of God upon my life. The same word of God can never be restored. I will see the kazuliwa. Na sema neno na mungu aliwa chilia juu ya maisha yako haitazuiliwa katika jina la Yesu. Amen. For as heavens are high than the heart, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down but send you our verse. Mungu anasema kama vile hema wingu huwa inakusanyika huko juu na ku wachilia mvua hivyo 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 neno langu ni lilo niachilia kwa ajili ya mwanangu kwa ajili ya mtoto wangu hivyo hivyo ndivyo haitazuiliwa ni lazima inyeshe kama vile mvua inanyesha hivyo hivyo ndivyo neno langu kwa mwanangu nitatimia amen ni pango Mungu aliyopanga juu ya maisha yetu lazima itatimia katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Anasema basi ndele so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return. Hallelujah. Anasema hiyo neno ameliachilia na amesahau alitarudi kabla ya kutimiza kile alituma ikatimiza. So my dear friends, this is what God is speaking to you Mungu anasema hivi kile amenena kuhusu Shetani anaweza jaribu kuweka mitego 
Bwana asikie. Amen. Na kile siku ya kutimia itafika. Delay is not a denial. Kuchelewesha sio kujimwa. Nasema siku ya kubarikiwa kwako utafika. Siku ya kuinuliwa kwangu utafika. Siku ya kubarikiwa kwetu kama kanisa utafika. Na shetani ataibika. Haleluya. Praise be to the name of the living God. Haleluya. For the plans of God are not the plans of men. For the thoughts of God are not the thoughts of men. For the ways of God is not the ways of men. Haleluya. Praise be to the name of the living God. Maana hata Mungu analiwasia mema. Haleluya. Haleluya. Celebrate our Jesus. Tupigie Bwana makofi kwa yale mema amepanga juu ya maisha yetu. Amen. Psalms 107 and verse 20. Psalms 1. 107 and verse This is the word of God. He sent his word and he healed them. Mungu alituma neno lake. Na nikawa pole. Akalituma tena. Nikawa pole. And he delivered them from every destruction. This is the word of God tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. If God wants to heal the church, if God wants to heal the land, if God wants to heal the family, he sends his word. What does he do? Amen. Who are the church? That's why in the whole testament alikuwa anatumia manabii kama anataka kupeleka ujumbe kwa mfano anaweka neno lake kwa nabii peleka Bwana siku but in our dispensation God is speaking to a son Holy Spirit of God God is convicting you by his power of the Holy Spirit He sends his word for our healing. And na hili iko na mambo tofauti tofauti uponyaji. Kuna watu wanahitaji uponyaji si wa mwili wa wa biashara zao. Bwana siku. Kuna mtu anataka mchanga mali anakuwa analima uponyo. Uwe kuna saa mahindi vizuri. Bwana siku. Amen. Oh, there was a time when you were classic. Oh, I used four to seven years nikitafuta kwa shamba letu mali tulingawiwa ume avocado. And for six years nilipanda avocado. I don't know. Siji ni hesabu ya bwana siji. But the whole faith si kwa sababu mchango wetu ni mbaya. Lakini ni kwa sababu it was not the will of the heaven. Haikuwa ni mapenzi ya shetani. Hapo kweli ume. But the time came when I received when I received the Christ. Nilienda nyumbani na nimebeba mafuta. Na nikasema mimi ni mkana
Praise God for our Lego. Big times are with us. The Lord is your God. He 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 Dawa ya nini umepea za kina? Aina. Azikuni, azizai. The need ili. Hili, imechachika kwa maende ya kufuti na kufuti. That is what I'm saying. I'm saying. Wana ziki. Your spiritual ministry in you needs hili, 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 upoyoji. Uwa unafanya kazi kiwa maale kwa metulia. Maale unasikia mwa. Kile chochoto unafanya, kinafani kiwa, kuprospa, inite ndepe heri. Any investment, you shall invest it in your life. You need healing. But that healing is brought by the word of God. And God said his word. And he healed the devil. And deliver death from every destruction. There are so many destructions in our life. What is it? But you, the word of God, has got power to deliver. The power in the world has power to deliver. That power of the word of God has power to deliver from every kind of destruction in our lives. Amen. Verse 21. God did this. God sent this word for evil and to remove them from destruction that may on the face of the earth that they may praise and thank him. Mwani mungu anachenda hale yote. Ile mataifa ya kuiname. Nasema ya kika uye mpilisho. Oh, the men who praise the Lord for the goodness and for his wonderful words to the children of men. Praise and thanksgiving is the food of God. Kuna chakula mungu uwa anapena Ni sifa ama huu God is still waiting for us To understand To have that spiritual maturity That you may understand What he needs He requires from us There are so many ways Of fighting battles But one And the best way of fighting battles Is praising God Remember in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 how the battle was won. Jehoshaphat alipanga watoto wakiwa wanaongoza wa mama wa kunyuma na wazee wa kunyuma kabisa na wazee kulingana na historia ndio wanapaswa kuwa mbele ili hatari ikikuja wapigane na hatari wazuie wa mama na watoto. Vijana ma, wale Mabarubana, wanapaswa kuwa ni wanaongoza When the battle is stiff Ni wanapaswa kuwa wakona mungu Wakiwa wakipewa uchusi na waze Lakini, it is contrary against the will of God Mungu wanjambia Josephati Panga watoto wakiongoza Wamama wakwate Vijana na waze Wawe nyuma, praise me to the name of the name Na muna haina kupigana na mandu Imagine, mimi, na haenda kupigana na aduli. Alafu na haenda timo wa kumbele. Afu wabe na maono. Alafu mama ya, alafu mimi ni kwa nyuma. Na aduli ya kumbele. Na kumbele kukutana na aduli. Alaluhi. Na wakati wa aduli, walejiha. Ami, wakajipanga vizu. Joseph, ati akamiwa na mungu. Now you need to have your hands up to him. And praise him. The secret, the weapon, Hallelujah. that God uses to attack and destroy the enemies. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord again. Give him thanks. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shout amen. It is so. 
Let it be like that. Let it be praise. Let it be worship. He called it power in worship. Our cat was a praise. What can we do about Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20. What can we do about it? Maadu wa likuwa wanaangalia na hivi. Ati nilikuwa mime, mime na pasta tunataka kupiga awa mamu. Nikiangalia pasta hivi na wana hivi ni mamu. So mshale kupiga pasta na ya kupi. Maadu wa lipina. Prezidi kipena wabale hiko. That is one way to call you six. To fight the battles. Therefore tonight as we praise and worship our God. God will fight your battles. Sijasikia inani ya mungu. Amen. Ninasema tunapo abudu na kumuinua mwana usiku wa leo. Haleluya. Amen. Mungu wa tapigana kita zetu. Amen. Tumalizia Psalms 35. Tukiwa tumesimama. Tumesimama. Simama tuna bibiria. Stretch yourself. Stretch yourself. Psalms that fight, and as a summer, we are strong in Psalms that fight. Amen. It is the time now to fight. We are Mazisha, Kila Sauti, Sinazi, Kuba Kinyume, and Sauti of Mongo. Mungu wa menena na hamesema na walake ni kanda kwa kasi kwa mbio sana. Sound that fire. Tasoma na kizungu, tasoma na kisayi. Plead my cause for law with them that strike with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of you and buckle and stand up for my hair. Kena mwenezi mungu wa binge awa Verse, verse 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that they pass my heart. Let them be a star before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Verse 19. Let not the them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Never let them wake with the heart that hate me without the cause. Verse 22 to 26. This thou hast seen, O oh Lord, keep no silence, O oh Lord, be not far from me. Start up thyself and away to my judgment. Even unto my cause, my God and my Lord, judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their heart, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed the evil heart. Verse 26. Let them be ashamed. Let them be brought to confusion together that rejoice at my heart. So may you can see the gap. Amen. 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 Here the man be here to na kuomba kwa jili ya mera. Kuna ma pepo ya mepusani kwa sababu mungu wa miachili ya neno na uchili ya mashere. Na tumesoma ya mama wapinzani ni wengi wanazuea Bizuizi ziko Presidi ya mbele mbele ziko So I want us to go before the Lord and tell the God Atuondole kila haina bizuizi 
ninavyo sikuia neno lake likafanye kazi kwa maisha yetu maana amesema bikini tuma linaenda kwa mbio inaenda kwa kazi what is that preventing the will of god to be manifested in our life in the church in the ministry of god may god have mercy on us